What's going on, Midlothian? We're back at your Simon City Chatter podcast, as always, live from the Opoka Palace. To my right, he was out last week, but he's here now. Mr. John Opoka, what's going on? Oh, nothing. Just having a good time with good having friends. Having a good time. Yep. To my left, the one and only Tiffany. I'm surprised that I got mentioned before Justin. You're like bromance over here. Chill out. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Chill out. Chill out. Make your introduction and let me get on to the next one. All right. It's not like they can't see. And to my left, left, <laughs> my main man, the next mayor of Midlothian, Midlothian's own Mr. Justin Kaufman. What's going on, buddy? That's me. Hey, guys. Glad to be here. We're chilling. We're chilling. Hey, um, and then uh, we've got uh, Tammy Rodriguez here with us tonight because we're going to talk about the uh, benefit, the massive benefit going on this Sunday at Railport and Waxahachie for Amanda Mayfield. And we'll talk about that here in just a second. But before we get to that, um, I'm going to make a quick announcement. Um, we are going to, first of all, Saturday is Election Day, right? It is. May 6th. May 6th is Election Day. It is the final day to vote for um, the, the elections that are at stake at this moment. You've got uh, a real tight mayor race going on, I, I heard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Get out and vote for me, Midlothian. <laughs> vote for Justin. You don't have a choice. Wait, oh, was I supposed to vote for Justin? I voted for somebody else. Oh, you did, did, you, that. did you do Every the right end? I did. <laughs> the right end. And then we've got uh, um, we've got a school board. Well, we actually have two school board One's elections, unopposed which also. one is unopposed. A couple city council spots and um, three bonds, Proposition A, B, and C, that are up for for vote. Look at you. Yeah, good job. On the school yeah. side, for sure. On the school side. Yeah. Now, so here's what we're going to do, because over the last, I don't know how many weeks, six, eight, ten weeks, we have lots of them one by one interviewed every single candidate that is up for election, whether it be re-election or running, you know, even the ones that are on a post. <laughs> Even the ones that are on a post. As a service to you, Midlothian, <laughs> the Seaman City Chatter podcast has interviewed all of the candidates. Because Absolutely. We, we are here for you. So what we're going to do is Saturday at the conference center, we're going to um, have a uh, luncheon for the candidates and their crews. Um, Ellis County Barbecue is going to, we're going to bring Ellis County Barbecue out and you know, just feed these candidates who've worked so hard over the course of this early voting process to get out there. And most of these guys, a lot of them were at the conference center from, what's going on? It's somebody's phone. Just keep on. Was, was uh, um, have been out there from, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, trying to just be accessible and available to meet the community. And uh, um, a lot of these guys have jobs. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. have families. Well, they all have families, and I'm sure most of them have jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, Wayne's kind of retired, I'm sure. But other than that, you get my point. I mean, taking time out of their day to get out there and meet the public. Now, the first week, and this is all, I mean, I'm just going to get it over with. This is my chew-out session for the community. I think we had... A thousand people come out the first week. Yeah, the entire week. I didn't. I haven't kept track, but it's been. It was light, super light. It was super light. But I think the last few days um, of the week, it's 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 definitely picked up. Over Ju a thousand voters last Tuesday. Okay, which so, is the last day. Yeah. Justin, do you know exactly what the total is? I don't. So far? It, it just off of memory, I think it's around thirty three hundred votes, which is roughly a thousand more than all that voted in last year's election in May. And wow. so we are we are already setting uh, what I believe to be new records and uh, for the for the May election. So exciting stuff. Saturday should be a big day. Should be a circus out there, and uh, hopefully we get three thousand more. Yeah, that's that's really what we're hoping for. Because I mean, while the I mean that's that's great. I mean, it's definitely an optimistic thing that we are going to break records. But that record, to be honest with you, is still pretty poor for a. A, I mean, I don't know what the actual city encompasses, city limits population would be. Well, it's not about the population because you've got kids in that and you've got uh, everything else in that. It's about the uh, registered voters. Right. And 
we'll get notes on that. Like the, you can get that uh, by end of election night. How many? What the percentage of elected like or uh, of registered voters? Right. Voted. So, I mean, well, you know, if 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 you've got thirty five thousand people that it's are like, registered voters, I mean, yeah, yeah. So we have a population of pushing nearly forty thousand. I would imagine there's. I think we've crossed 25 it plus real. thousand that right. are registered voters. Uh, well, and, and we don't have our fact checkers, so I'll just not even half of them vote. Quick. But again, we're making progress, and that's important. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. So I don't want to take anything away from that, but we've still got a little bit of ways to go to um, promote voting in, in Midlothian here, and we'll, we'll get it done. So we're going to have a good time out there at the conference center on Saturday. Have a good time. Come out, meet these guys. If you know who you're voting for, run in there and vote. If you're not sure, they're all going to be there for you to talk to. And yeah. according to and, and if this, you don't want to talk to them, I'll be out there. You can talk to me, and I will tell you what to do. Yeah. Oh, oh, I've offered that <laughs> service up to everybody. I've said that either if you just want non-biased information, I'm perfectly happy to give that. If you want an opinion, I am way down to give that. <laughs> well... Tiffany's got an opinion. She what? does have an opinion. Imagine that. Never have yeah. an opinion about anything. I will say that it is a labor of love from all the candidates being out there because it is like Rob described. It's it's a complete week of being out there from eight to four, and you're getting there early. You're staying late, and mm -hmm. then the last two days of early voting, Monday and Tuesday of this week, were seven a to seven p. That's a twelve hour day, on your feet, yeah. talking to people, shaking hands, kissing babies. The whole deal, and it it it's really not is chicken babies kissing. No, don't do it the other way. Yeah, <laughs> it really is quite exhausting. And um, I've been out there about half the time as the rest of the candidate, most of the rest of the candidates, and I've been exhausted. So uh, I'm sure that the all of the candidates will be extremely grateful to have Cement City out there and providing a. Some fuel to get them through the day with some barbecue. Yeah, oh, yeah. So I'm sure it makes it easier on you guys when there's plenty of people to talk to. Yeah. And you're not sitting there just watching birds and. Yeah. Oh, counting things. Like, uh, I've heard people counting the amount of Salt Life stickers on Jeeps or just counting Jeeps or. Just whatever it takes <laughs> to pass the time. <laughs> what percentage, and then calculating the percentage of Jeeps that had Salt Life, salt life stickers. <laughs> but it's what it takes to win an election yeah. nowadays because you really, I mean, true, and it's a good thing. Candidates need to be open. They need to be accessible. They need to be transparent. And not everybody wants to come up and talk to uh, all the candidates, but some do, and some are making decisions right there in the moment. Right. And so being there matters. And uh, I, have, I have a huge respect for all of the candidates that have put the time in and have been out there and uh, do, doing what it takes. So, so kudos to them, kudos to their families uh, for the sacrifices. And uh, it's a shame that all of them can't win because we've got some really good candidates out there. Poor Sherry. So, so we're gonna, gonna. So we're gonna set. Ten minutes ago, <laughs> we were just gonna stick a ten out there, but because we're not gonna get out there as early as the candidates are to secure their spot, uh, mm -hmm. Mayor Let Kaufman here, Justin has uh, offered his tent for us to uh, serve the uh, the candidates and their crews from. So. Just come over to... Yeah, I'll be out there early and plan to stay late. And so excited to welcome the Cement City crew into to my uh, very neutral booth. We're just going to be out there to meet people and, and to help support. Uh, and then uh, you guys will come and serve the barbecue out of my tent. So maybe I'll get some of the credit for the... Absolutely. <laughs> That's why we planned it that way. The Absolutely. Or and, then what we'll do, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to everybody and run some lives starting early just so we can show the community that we're out there having a good time and let these candidates talk to it to everybody i'm eating my hot tamales let these candidates <laughs> talk to or Nailed let these it. candidates hear from let the people hear from the candidates that are out there yeah. um talk to the people that are pushing for the bonds people that think the bonds should not be passed and so forth and so forth we're going to do it all yeah, I love it. Do and, it all, and so they can they can access that through the Cement City Chatter well, podcast sure Facebook page. Work. Yes, Facebook. yeah, we're going to well, do. Well, we're at least going to run it through our podcast uh, page now. Okay. If Talk wants to allow something, that's fine. I don't know. Uh, we haven't just gotten that far. We that would be a permission thing. But you need to make me an admin. I'm good. Just temporary. I can't. I can't. I'm a moderator. Yeah, oh, but no. we'll, without we'll, admin keys, I can't do squat. We'll figure it out. I'll run James. it on my page if I have James to. James ain't one yep. either. Wow. 
I'm, who's bringing the aloe vera for Sherry? Poor Sherry. I think she's going to have a permanent sunburn after this because she's been out at the wine walk. She's been out this entire time. It's part of it. <laughs> They've I all got great tans right now. I know. Yeah. I know. They've all got great tans. <laughs> but we're going to have fun and we're going to get out there and, and do our thing and talk to these people. So moving right along. Yeah. Go ahead. Just, just the last thing I want to say on that is I really want to strongly encourage all the registered voters to come out and vote. Let's 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 set a new record. Let's uh, let's be the community that votes. And uh, truthfully, that's how you know that the right people are in the right positions when the masses come out to vote and speak up. So absolutely. And then another thing that I had said, I know I said moving on, but one thing that we had said, John, when we put out the uh, announcement was that it doesn't matter who you're voting for, who you're not voting for, what bond you're voting for or against. At the end of the day, we're all neighbors. Let's break bread. Mm -hmm. The last day of the election, the people are going to call it. So it's going to be what it's going to be. The bonds are going to pass. They're going to not pass. Someone's getting elected and someone's not. I mean, yeah. Is America with Jack? How about those guys been working both of those booths, the vote the vote no booth and then also the vote yes booth on the bonds? And those are truly both sides, community advocates, community yeah. volunteers, took time away from their families, took time jobs. away from their jobs. Yeah. And they they uh, unless their their preference passes, they don't gain they, they don't gain anything. You know, they don't gain a seat. They don't you know, so it's uh so I, well, we're going to have be left to deal with whatever that situation sure. comes out with. So at the end of the day, we need to cut that rope and walk out together. Yeah. Amen. And that's that's my Reverend wish. Rob. Preaching. That's my <laughs> wish. But I mean, we'll see how it happens. But anyway, so Tammy, how you doing over there? We're just sitting over <laughs> I'm, here. I'm just great. Thanks for having me, guys. Thank you for coming. So um, Amanda Mayfield benefit. Let's let's. Uh, Happy birthday, Amanda. Happy First birthday, of all, Amanda. It's her Happy birthday, birthday today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. So um, let's start from square one here. And let's tell the people just a little bit about what's happened. And first of all, why we're having a benefit, but what, you know, let's just start from square one, if you would. Yeah. So Amanda Mayfield, born and raised, Midlothian, parents. Graduated from Midlothian. She's a lifelong Midlothian. Um, it's really important that I say this because it's really important to her. Um, girls need to, ladies, go get checked, right? She had put this off for so long. She didn't have health insurance. We won't get into that. But she put it off because she put her kids and her family first. And it finally got to the point where she had to go get checked out. Checked and, out. I, 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 let's just assume that people that are listening have no idea. She has cervical oh, cancer. Okay. So if you know anything about the woman's anatomy. We don't. We're, we have work. Oh, I'm sorry clueless. for you. I mean, I'm um, not. <laughs> two women at the table. We are not clueless. Yeah. So she has cervical cancer, stage 3B, going into stage 4. Um, cervical cancer is what she has been diagnosed with. Oh, wow. So wait, you gave a letter after that stage. I have never heard, like, a letter. So how does that work? So I, I'm Yo, not you don't know. an oncologist. You don't have to be. I guess, like, stage 3A, B... And then you go to the fourth okay. stage. So okay. she's at stage three B, cervical cancer. She's been yes. going through chemo and, and she had some chemo, extensive radiation. Um, lots. She had her last radiation, internal radiation today. So congratulations on that. It yeah. has definitely, definitely taken a toll on her body, her mental health. Just because you have to give up so much because it does the radiation takes such a toll on you. So it has taken her life completely over. So it's been really hard for her to get out there and do and be there for her kids and do the things she wants to do. How long, not, has, how long has she been going through this? Um, January, mid, oh, wow. mid the beginning of January, she was diagnosed. She went to the ER um, for excessive TMI warning, sorry, bleeding. Uh -huh. So I'm trying to think back. I remember because, I mean, I'm friends with Amanda on Facebook and Jordan and, and whatnot. And at some point they went to Mexico on a vacation. And I just remember that whole weekend mm -hmm. I, I, keeping my phone because Jordan had just figured out how to go live on oh Facebook Lord. and was having just Stop. a great time. Stop it. Do not encourage that behavior. He was having a great time. So at that point, everything was unknown? Unknown at that time. Wow. They said she's probably had it for a year, if not. She's been having cramps and pains, and she knew something wasn't right with her body. She just put it off. 
and that's why it's so important for her for women to listen to their body listen to what your body's telling you and go get yeah. checked because it maybe could have been caught at an earlier stage before 3b but it wasn't unfortunately yeah and so because of that i mean she couldn't work i'm guessing i mean i, I no she I, was I in excruciating this... pain like couldn't get out of bed she's slept on i'm gonna be honest with you like i've gone to her house and she's literally laying on a pallet on the floor because she can't get up and move because she's in so much pain oh wow yeah that's that's not good especially someone just so young and healthy and looking at her you would Every not day full a lot yeah if you, you just look at her like I remember us being at the gym and working out and her talking, us doing ab exercises, and she's like, I just can't get her this pooch. Turns out she has a grapefruit-sized tumor on her cervix, and that's why it won't go away, because you have a tumor on your cervix. And yeah. she just ignored it, and it's really important for her, and she really wanted me to convey for people to get checked and listen to your body, because she wants to do, once she recovers from this and beats it, she wants to do as much to help as many women as she can to prevent this to happen to them. Absolutely. So I saw that um, she is, she had her, like you said, she had her last radiation, in, internal radiation today. Yeah, she went through chemo. She went through external radiation. And then she had to do, it was six or eight internal radiations. And I'm not going to go into what that entails. Right. No, yeah. I understand. Um, and and then at the, the, the end of her post stated that, the next step is wait for a little bit and then get checked and we're yeah. hoping they come back and say she's cancer free um yeah she was hoping to hear that today she did not hear that today the cancer cells are still slushing off of her body um is what they told her today um so as of right now she is not cancer free um the doctor told her not to be surprised if when you come back in june or july there's still going to be some cancer cells so yes radiation ended today but she goes back end of J June, beginning of July, to do a PET scan and blood work, and they're predicting there's still gonna be cancerous cells. Yeah, I don't think, I mean, unless you've been around somebody that's gone through that, um, I think people don't quite understand of what these treatments actually do to the human body. Yeah. Well, not just the body, like the mental toll it takes on you and not being able to provide for your family, not being able to work, not being able to go to your kids' sporting events. Her daughter, Eva, went to state for powerlifting and she couldn't be there. And yeah. like, thank God Eva had such a great support group around her to go there and be there for her. But as a mom, like Amanda not being there just broke her. I can imagine. Wow. Well, at least one thing I can say, and with our next mayor sitting right here, we do live in a community that rallies together. Mm -hmm. We've seen it time and time again, and here we are again. Yeah. Um, so we've got this benefit that's going to go down on Sunday. Fixing just microphone a little bit. <laughs> I'm new, guys. Sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> First ever podcast. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I, I would say that uh, to, to your point, like the, the community is what you make it. Midlothian is a community of people right and, right and amanda is a long time core to this community um like i was in her same youth group growing up like like these are these are midlothian strong you know and, For and sure. so to see uh, one of our own go through something so traumatic and um i mean she's got three three, three kids three beautiful kids and uh just living life to the fullest and then all of a sudden bam this comes out of left field yeah literally in in mexico having a vacation yeah no come, clue come, yeah no clue celebrated new year's eve together right everything was fine and a few days later hey i have cancer yeah so so to see that happen and then um hopefully our community responds to to this issue because um whether it be Amanda or somebody else, we should react because these, these are our neighbors. These are our people, right? Absolutely. We're, who, who we're doing life with. And so um, I'm excited to, to hear that there's a fundraiser going on to help support her and her family. It is going to be great, guys. We have so many sponsors, Cement City sponsored. We have a lot of sponsors, a lot of silent auction events, so many local bands from Ellis County giving their time up to come out and support Amanda and play for her. It's going to be a really good time. So who all, who, how did this happen? Who put this together? Just you guys, Amanda's just group? <laughs> um, no. So Deb Leatherwood, Deb Leatherwood, she has a foundation, um, a cervical cancer awareness foundation. Um, her and Trace Medlock, 
got together and decided they wanted to do this for Amanda and That's reached awesome. out to the family. And then the wheels just started rolling. Oh, yeah. It's, it's going to be pretty big because um, one thing you guys may or may not know is that <laughs> yours truly is going to MC this event. So oh, let me tell you no. right now. Oh, buckle up. <laughs> yeah, right? It's going to be a wild up, show. Because this is going to be a great time. Especially because they have basically the majority of Ellis County bands coming to play. It's going to be fun. Everybody's coming out. Calamity Jane, Trigger Jones. Kane and Bryce. Whoa, Kane and whoa. Bryce. It's going to be at Railport Brewery. It's going it to be is. at Railport Brewery. You've got uh, J.D. Cobb, Landon Blake, Mike Terry, Jimmy Zapata, Calamity James, um, Eric Marion, Kane and Bryce, Jason Heron, Katie Lynn, live auctions, silent auctions. Trace Medlock will end the show at 6.30, starting at 6.30. Um, 50, there's 50-50 raffles, T-shirts. I think what they're doing is if you buy, correct me if I'm wrong, if you buy a... Uh, a glass. Amanda's Movement glass. Mm -hmm. Jamming for Amanda. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. It comes with three pours. Mm -hmm. So... And a, and a drawing for like a raffle, like we're gonna do a door prize. So you get the you get to keep your glass. It has all of our great sponsors on it. You get to keep the glass. You get three pours of beer, and you get to keep the cup. And you get entered to win something. Will Pretty there be awesome. a cover? No. No cover. No cover to get in. No. Great. Just buy the glass. And you get an autograph from the MC Rob Lafleur. Mm -hmm. Tw Twenty and, bucks. <laughs> hey, hey, all proceeds any, go. Yes, we'll do it. Whatever we got to do to raise money for her, we will do. We might make three dollars yeah. if I'm saying if they're twenty bucks each. <laughs> if they're twenty bucks yeah. each, some refunds will be given. I will have to. I will have to really cut deals. <laughs> so you guys, you guys have been busy, real busy, collecting auction items and and building stuff. Tell me about that. What what can everybody come out and see as far as? So I hope y'all like fishing. We got lots of fishing charters you can buy for to go out and get oh, guided cool. fishing tours. Um, there's an Airbnb in Alaska that's been donated. Wow. You can get nice. an Airbnb to Alaska, one to the Hilltop Resorts in San Antonio. I just can't even tell you. There's so many. The list goes on. Sports but memorabilia. Alcohol. Yeah. Lots of coolers full of alcohol. It's insane. People, people have really come together. It, when I tell you, it brings Amanda to tears to see all of the things that people have donated to give her, to help her family. It, it's amazing. So what, what I want, what, one thing that I think will be fun is if we can come up with three thousand dollars, my brother-in-law will shave his beard. <laughs> Willie. Um, <laughs> well, you okay. know what? The I wife think, is saying no. I think you should do it. That's a non-selfish. Listen, I, you guys can't see this, but my I mean, my my sister and brother-in-law are, are here. here and he has the world's greatest beard definitely the best beard in ellis county maybe in the state of texas i don't know but uh it would definitely it would definitely hang on take, hang on it would definitely you getting it hang on he's zooming in i'm trying to do this with my left hand it doesn't work there, there he goes. goes look at that luscious locks <laughs> Come on, guys. Three so thousand dollars and it's gone. Three thousand dollars and it's gone. And I think we should let Rob shave him. Oh, absolutely. Wait, Casey, is it, is it'll grow back. Thing? No, it's not happening. Oh. <laughs> no, that's a joke. That would never happen. It, but, but. Uh, <laughs> wow. I mean, twenty dollars is twenty dollars. <laughs> we'll take it all. Um, it is important for people to know um, cash. No credit cards. Um, the foundation, unfortunately, does not have the capability to take credit cards at this time. So cash and Venmo will be the way to go at the event. Okay. I think I read somewhere that they said that one of the, maybe the sports mem memorabilia group mm -hmm. is the, it can take credit cards. Yes, correct. Right? And 50% of all proceeds of that go directly to Amanda. Excellent. Okay. And there's going to be other memorabilia there. Um, we have some Rangers gear coming. 
Um, you can't buy this Ranger gear in store. It's like prototypes from the pro shop manager for the Texas Rangers. Oh, so nice. you can't get it anywhere else. So oh, that's super cool. It's pretty legit. So if you're a Rangers fan, make sure you attend, huh? For sure. Absolutely. Everybody's a Rangers fan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you said you're a Yankees fan. I am a Yankees Who? fan. I'm a Yankees fan. I love the Yankees. I mean, wow. I was there when Judge hit it. So, but but I I like. Um, I mean, I, I, I don't was, hate the Rangers. I was watching when uh, uh, A Rod <laughs> got struck out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, wait, who won I, I the like series? It. Mm, it wasn't A Rod. Uh, okay, I was I was just confirming that. Sorry, Rob. Like like that's probably not a good argument because I can talk to you about twenty seven Yankees World Series. We're and you we're not talking about the past. We're talking I, about the now. I get it. We're I talking get about it. the now. And they do this with the Cowboys too. And I'm a diehard Cowboys fan, but I just I like the Yankees. Well, oh, and let me tell you, the <laughs> well, reason. Hold up, hold up. Are you a Lakers fan too? Because no. you're just picking all the primo no. teams here. No. Okay. I don't even, I don't, Can no. you legitimize your love for the Yankees? Absolutely. I'm going to. Okay. So um, my mother moved to New York for three years. I don't think you can look a few years back. And so I would go to New York. I'd fly to New York about once, twice, one every one, two, one or two months, what you know, at least three times a quarter, and uh go see her in New York and hang out in the city. And uh so when I got there, I'll never forget this because the Blueprint Three album just came out. Uh Jay Z. And uh <laughs> Show you know, your age. with uh, oh, I have no idea what you're talking with, about. With his that. New York song, sure. It, it's like the theme. You know, I, I actually thought Jay Z would run for mayor of New York City and, and Why? hands Why would down he win ever it. Do that because he could win it easily. <laughs> but back to my point of the Yankees is that um, while I was in New York, spending a lot of time there, there's one thing I noticed. No matter who you were, what nationality you were, because it's more than just a you know ethnicity when you're there, because it's an international melting pot. So just not you're white, you're black, you're Hispanic, you know, you're, you're Russian, you're Everybody, German, you're... Yeah. Everybody's pretty much been through yeah. there. Right. Yeah. yeah. So it, they have one common denominator in that city, and that is the New York Yankees. Huh. I mean... So let's there's come not together a, on there's Sunday not a town for that, Amanda, like yeah. everybody in New York. <laughs> like, comes exactly. Let me, let me debirt this back to what's really important here. <laughs> yeah. Texas so Rangers. Like, everybody come together... <laughs> On Sunday together. for Amanda, like the Yankee people in New York. Oh, do. for sure, for sure. Do y'all ask me what it was? So I've never been to New York. My uh, my son. I, the other day, I'm talking to my son. He's 14. He's an eighth grader. I said, if you could go anywhere on a vacation, where would you go? I, and I have zero desire to go to New York. And uh, he goes, I'd like to go see the Tower of Liberty. I said, Tower of Tower of Liberty. <laughs> the what? The Tower of Liberty. Statue of Liberty. And, yeah, and I go, uh, well, where's that? And he goes, I don't know, like Paris or something. Oh, wow. Uh, talking about look. the Statue of Liberty? And yeah, goes, yeah by that fans. one. So, uh, that was a plug for MISD. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, who's running for school board? Make sure it to has, vote uh, in the bonds. That's more to do with uh, parenting than it does with school, yeah. I'm sure. The bonds will make sure that they understand what the Statue of Liberty yeah, yeah. Specifically, it's a line item. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, on Sunday, what time does this thing start? It starts at noon, right? High noon. High noon, starting off with prayer. Hey, you'll like this, Justin. I got an email um, on, on the way over here from uh, Deborah Leatherwood. Yes. She's the... Foundation. Fa the foundation. Correct. I always call her Barbara. She, my yeah. wife corrects me. Um, Deb is fine. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, she was telling me that they're going to start at high noon with prayer. Cool. And I get to do the prayer. Do you? Unless you're there. No, I, I've got to be at church, but... That's right. I do appreciate Early that. service. You Today can make was, it there by noon. I'm He's a the pa pastor. I'm a pastor oh, so got, you will not make it there. No, but um, we did have the National Day of Prayer today down in downtown Midlothian. That was good. And nice. so we did pray for the sick. And so we will continue to do so on Amanda's behalf as well. We appreciate it. And that's another thing. I don't think, I mean, I, I can definitely tell you firsthand, you know, about the power of prayer. So everybody out there, keep her in your prayers. She's going to beat this. You know, I. I I haven't really posted a whole lot on, on comments. I did tell her happy birthday today, but I've kind of just left it alone because I really believe that this is all going to be okay. I, I mean, I 100% do. 
Yeah. Same. So I've kind of like in my mind, I've gotten away from the just. Oh my! I mean, it's it's horrible. It absolutely mm -hmm. is. But I just really think that this is all just going to be. It's a tough. Listen situation. up, Amanda. Done You're and over. Going to be okay. A tough situation. I told my wife that I was like, she's going to be okay. Yeah. Because my wife's real sensitive compared to me. <laughs> I'm sensitive. Don't get me wrong, but uh, on bad days, mm -hmm. that when you guys post bad days, she'll get upset about it, and I. It's hard. I'm like. I, I hate posting it. It's, she's going to be okay. I hate posting it, but I truly believe she's going to pull through this. She is a fighter. She's been a fighter whole, her whole life. She's four foot nothing, but let me tell you, she's a firecracker. She's tough. Yeah. She is a tough cookie. So she, I definitely. Dynamite comes in small packages. A hundred percent. So she's going to pull through this. And again, she's had such an amazing support system through all of this, from people sending groceries to her house for her kids, to the benefit, the GoFundMe, the t-shirt fundraisers, everybody has just been outstanding and supporting her. And you know, it's hard to post like the bad days, but it's still the reality. It is, it is. Like, and not everything can be unicorns and rainbows. She doesn't like unicorns. Okay. Yeah, so it's okay. Cool. So yeah. how has it, how, has it been pretty good working with this foundation? I mean, because you could have picked Oh, yeah. How did you choose this foundation? The foundation chose us. Okay. So we are very blessed that the foundation chose did, us. Did they reach out to you or did y'all apply? They reached out okay. 100%. Um, Trace Medlock is local. And okay. Has, and ha yep. And so has worked nominated. with the foundation okay. before. So it's really him who tied it together because he's worked with the foundation before, is my understanding. So he's been a key asset in making this happen. So they reached out and said, hey, we want to do this. They worked, the foundations worked with Railport before hosting events. And so um, they said, let's do it. They're normally not open on Sundays. They're opening up on a Sunday just for this event. So come out in the masses because they do not open on Sundays and they are opening just for Amanda. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm really happy that they searched you out. But from what I understand, you guys have done a tremendous amount of work I mean I got a troop this. behind me you do they're they're staying quiet but Casey and Kristen have done an amazing job Kristen is actually the Alaska Airbnb owner who donated it it's awesome we have um it just got text to me I should read that um Longhorn Harley Davidson riding certificates for training academy oh neat I mean we there's some really cool things but she has when I tell you she's organized to the max, this lady behind me has just done a phenomenal job. Not only being there for the family, but making sure everything goes off without a hitch for the benefit. So other than um, the benefit coming Sunday, is there any other needs that are pressing that we should discuss further? Or will, um, this, will this pretty much handle it? I don't, I mean, we unfortunately don't this know. This can't be cheap. Uh, yeah, no, no medical insurance and like, it's insane. Mm -hmm. Um, the cost, she hasn't been working. Jordan stopped working to be there and be able to take her to her appointments. Um, unfortunately he had to go back to work two weeks ago. So both of them have not been working. Um, just the cost of like living, paying bills. So everything, yes, we're raising money for her medical costs too, but I don't think people are staying. They still have a house payment. They still have electric and water mm -hmm. and car payments that they have to make. Yeah. And so it goes fast. I mean, it is what it is, unfortunately. I can so. tell you one thing, Rob. I, I, there's a lot of need in the community and it's not often, it's not always good soil to deposit into. And I wouldn't be here tonight if she was not a good person to invest oh, in. Oh, I know. And uh, so I'll tell all my community of Midlothian, like these, these are good people that are good stewards of finance and just have fallen on tough times and so this is a solid way to invest in your community into your fellow neighbor and so I, I guess one question I would have is that in the hypothetical situation that somebody's watching this but they can't make the benefit mm -hmm. is there a Venmo is there a website is there somewhere where yes, they can we just go in and do donate directly we have a Facebook page called Manda's Movement um, her GoFundMe link is pinned to the top of the page so you can always just go in there and donate directly to her GoFundMe page that we started yeah okay well, I want to challenge Midlothian to do so. And if they do, Rob will shave his beard. If we read yeah. That. that seems like an easy grow back. Way easier than that one over there. <laughs> that's, yes. that's I think he should shave his head. Yeah. Manda's, <laughs> Manda's Movement on Facebook. You can find the GoFundMe. Manda, just M-A-N-D-A. Manda's Movement right. right here. 
Awesome. Well, there'll be shirts for people to buy there? Yes. So Extras? Well, I know we did pre-orders, but... Can I get one? Yes. So we did order extra shirts. Uh, the Jamin for Amanda benefit shirt. I have one right here. It has all of our great sponsors on the back. Sorry, you can't hear me. Looks like this, if you can see it. Oh, that's yep. cool. Very nice. cool. Mm -hmm. um, all the sponsors on the back. Oh, wow. Yeah, awesome. so we're super, again, you, we have extra shirts, limited quality, quantity. Quantity, not quality. Qua they're good quality, <laughs> no, that's they are. No, they're, no, 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 good. I'm saying limited quantity, not limited yes, quality. Yes, <laughs> yes, quantity. Um, so come get one if you want to buy a shirt. Again, you're not a drinker, that's okay. There's going to be live music. It's kid-friendly. We're going to have food trucks out there and tons of stuff to bid on. Now, well, I'm is, sure there's going to be soda and tea. It is Yeah, for yeah. sure. Is Amanda going to be able to be there? So I do have a solid confirmation from her right before I came here. She will be there on Sunday. Are you guys going to try to set up some we do some barriers or um, <laughs> we have bodyguards coming. Don't worry. <laughs> well, <laughs> security will be on site. It could be overwhelming. It is a concern of mine. I, did I mean, bring that up. No to offense her. to the community, but everybody is going to want to say hi and, 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 and whatnot. So. Yeah, I, be mindful of that if you yeah, do come. Please say hi. To. Please show her your love. It means the world to her. And when I tell you, when she is back up and running, she is going to pay this back tenfold because that mm -hmm. is just the kind of human she is. She does not want this. She's going to give back, guys. And if you're in need, she's going to be the first person to give to you if you're in need. So come out, support her, say hi. Be mindful that she literally had her last radiation treatment today. Yeah. There's still active radiation in her body. So just be mindful of that. But she... Definitely wants to say hi to people because she is so appreciative of everything that everybody has done for her. This is going to be a good time for a, for a yeah. great cause. Yeah, great person. Right, so it's at noon. Railport, Waxatchee, uh, from noon to seven. Mm -hmm. Is it kind of come and go, or is it come and go? We do encourage a lot of people to be there for the live auction, which starts at I don't have my phone on me. I got you. Five o'clock. 515 is with the live auction. And I believe you must be present. Correct. Well, for a live auction, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, no, it says. You have to be present for a live auction always. That's part of the live. I think he's talking about the silent auction. Oh. It says you must be present to win. Even for the silent auction? Oh, I didn't think so. Auction not on items or we will go to the next person. Not on, not on silent auction, on live auction. Yes. I think right? that's on silent. I'm, I'm, no, I'm only reading back here. I'm only reading this back here. That is news to me. If that is the way that it is, that's news to me. I, I don't believe that. That's so I'm going to we'll revisit I, I, that. I tell you what, I'm going to read what, I, what I've got, um, and you guys can correct it. It says, um, um, we will start the event at 12 o'clock with prayer. Then an introduction of the MC timeline of events will be 50-50 ticket sales, silent and live auctions, and a raffle. The selling of souvenir glass cost $30, which will include three beer pours, a chance to win a door prize. Um, for every special that is sold, $10 is donated to or donated back it's to... It's 15. It's actually 15. Okay. Rollport is giving more. Awesome. And then T-shirts are selling for $20 for sizes small to XL, and then uh, $22 for the larger sizes. You must be present to win auction items, or we will go to the next person. So it did, uh, well, that could be. So for the, for the raffle, right, you get entered into the raffle for the door prize if you buy the Jamin from Amanda Glass, right? And then we're also going to have a 50-50 raffle. So... You buy a ticket and whatever the pot is, you get to keep 50% of it. I'm shameless plug here. Give it back to Amanda. Um, sorry, not ashamed. Right now, go ahead. Um, and so you do have to be present to win the 50-50 raffle. If you're not there, we're pulling the next ticket. That makes perfect sense, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely yeah. And then, of course, the foundation, as you already stated, the foundation only takes Venmo, PayPal, checks, no credit cards, but you can use a credit card on... Um, those two applications, Venmo and PayPal. Correct. The uh, Don Bon and Charity auction, they do take credit cards for those particular items. 
And that charity auction, the Don Bonin charity auction, donates 50% from the sale of his personal sales to Amanda. Correct. Okay. Lots of good people coming together to do good things for a great person. It's going to be fun. Everybody needs to come out mm -hmm. to Railport Brewery Sunday, high noon. We're going to bow our heads in prayer, and then we're going to do what we need to do for somebody who deserves it and needs it. Correct. And that's the bottom line. And that's one of the reasons why um, when people say, like, what keeps Midlothian special? This You don't see this kind of stuff in... I mean, you might see it here and there in Arlington. You might see it here and there in Dallas in little pockets, but you don't see a whole community come together um, in those bigger areas like you do here. No, I come from Grand Prairie. I come from the big city. Mm -hmm. I moved out to Ellis County. And when I tell you I love this small town, even though mm -hmm. the town is growing, which is yeah, great, it progress happens. happens. Yeah. Can't shut the door behind you. You cannot. But when I tell you I feel the community here more than I ever felt my entire life mm -hmm. living in Grand Prairie in Ellis County, it's when night When my difference. grandparents moved to Arlington, um, literally it was about the size of Midlothian mm, 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. In 1973, they moved to Arlington. And we, we stayed there. I was there until... Um, until 2007 and then they moved out in 2019 never once did i feel the community that we and they were there they 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 were in the same house from 73 to 2002 and never once yeah no it's so i was born and raised in midlothian and i've seen it change and adapt but something has been consistent throughout and that's the quality of people. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we grow, the Midlothian culture has spread to the newer residents. And so people that complain about the size and the growth in our community, uh, I would challenge them to keep Midlothian small by engaging with things like mm -hmm. this, by engaging with great events like we had today at the National Day of Prayer and participating in building a healthy community because it is what you make it you and know? i think a lot of, of the people that have moved here within the last five to ten years moved here for that i mean it doesn't it doesn't seem to take somebody long at all to get engaged and i think that says something about mm -hmm. number one the reasons why people move here number two the community as it stands being there with open arms to invite yeah someone who just moved in here that wants to be a part of the community and get engaged. Yeah. It's not like, you know, we've got our, we, we're good, thank you, we don't need you. you yeah, you know? and it's not what's reflected on social media because a lot of times you'll see a lot of complaints, but when you, when you, when you meet people face to face and you, you, you meet a new neighbor who recently moved within the last year, they say, I feel extremely welcomed mm -hmm. here. And I think that's, that, has to, that speaks, to the, uh, to our, speaks volumes to our culture it does. that we've established. And I mean, where else on the planet can, a young little guy from DeSoto walk into a town five years later, just start running things. Yeah. <laughs> young run things. <laughs> technically, I'll give you little. technically, I run things. But. <laughs> He's like, checkmate. Check checkmate. 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 Unopposed. I kid, I kid, Unopposed. I, so, I took like, my shot. <laughs> you missed. And you missed. <laughs> like a fraud. <laughs> so never gonna live it down <laughs> never so uh yeah no that's what i was gonna say like we, you go to the wine walk or whatever and so me and my yoga buddies all kind of stumbled out of yoga and like straight into the wine walk we'd been there all day wine and, and arts like, festival whatever yep. <laughs> priorities priorities I mean, when it comes to oh they're not gonna they're moving little freak to the to the park so it can't be footloose anymore yeah. we can't be dancing in the streets yeah yeah we can talk about that if you want to oh, it's fine hold on let me give a point out fun. Yeah. <laughs> let me know. give a point out here but then we can go back to that but we all like we all kind of stumbled out into this wine and arts festival Thank you. and uh <laughs> and we it's not quite as alliterative anyway and um we uh but we kept getting separated because we kept somebody would, would call one of our names and we'd be like oh and move and then you'd look off and be like well our buddy just left i'm not sure where they went and then like they come back and like another one of us get pulled up because they saw somebody they knew um and I, there were a couple times where i had to run something in the car or something and i would get stopped two to three times it was always somebody different because yeah. 
this town is this town has done a very good job of being engaged uh civically and i mean that with like you know the wine wine and arts festival um footloose and like other other events um as well as stuff like this yeah no one ever says hi to me why am i always the one i'll say hi from now on i mean were you at the wine and arts festival no, that's why I tried, I tried to say that. That's because I was picking up my wife from the hospital. Oh, Are you gonna, hey, that's if you fair. come out Sunday, I'll say hi to you. Yeah. Oh, he'll be there Sunday. Yeah, I'll be there. He'll be with me. I bet you. We'll there be together. Was, He's my date. I bet you there was between five and ten thousand people at Wine and Arts. Just guessing. There were a lot. They sold out. It was the first time they ever uh, sold out. Wow. I would say twenty to thirty percent of the people I met, I was out there most of the day. Um, they're not from Midlothian. They're just, yeah, they, no. they came in, spent their tax dollars here. Yeah. One of out. my friends has been at the last three and I, and I don't know her well enough to know, like she's a friend from like homeschool co-ops and like on Facebook, I don't talk to her on a regular basis, but you know where I see her every year for the last three years, at least, or four years, I guess. I mean, we don't count COVID years, the wine and arts festival. Mm -hmm. Every single time I look over there, I'm like, oh, there's Carlotta. You girls like your wine. Mm -hmm. I did not imbibe a single <laughs> drop this time because I had a headache. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> well, good. You can come out Sunday to Railport and drink all the craft beer you want. Do you like craft beer? I don't like beer. Listen. I know. I know. Pull my texting card. No, no beer. Listen, no Listen. They have a shanty. The shanty is the good. The shanty is amazing. I love the shanty. I wouldn't go. At, Why are you looking like you don't know what a shanty is? I, I've never been to Railport in my you life. You haven't? Oh. Hmm. It's a cool oh. vibe. Yeah, it's a real cool vibe. No, like, I, you can I, play, I, like, I understand it is. So play, I'm kind of, kind of excited to go just to see a new place. I'm glad you guys big had it there. Jenga, mm -hmm. and you can play. I don't know if they still have it, but you used to be able to play big Jenga and big dominoes, like mm -hmm. big size. Yeah. Uh -huh. Everything's bigger. <laughs> yes. Nice. It's going to be fun. I can't believe you guys got that many bands. I mean. Yeah, that's quite a list. That that. When I tell you, I'm going to tell you shine. something. Rain or shine. Rain or the shine. The reason we have so many bands is because I promise you, Amanda has a personal connection with every single one of these people, and they all love her. I, she's just a good person. She would do anything for anybody. So everybody rallied together for her because she has. she's the person who's going to make a personal connection with you and just be there for you. She does not know a stranger. Yeah, I th I'm pretty sure Wes Davis played her patio. Uh, when he first, uh, when yeah, he, Calamity Jane did one of her crawfish boils. Yeah. She used to have, yeah. She loves the Calamity Jane girls so much. That's going to be fun. Are you wow. going to sing? Oh, please don't. No. I, <laughs> love, I, I don't know. Kanan's, Kanan's going to play, so you never know what happens when I'm in the same building with Kanan Bryce. Okay. Seriously. Okay. It could get dirty. This okay. man right here can rap with anybody. So Trigger Jones kill. plays a mean kid rock song. So I, I know those guys too, pretty well. But he knows uh, everybody. Um, no, let these guys do their thing. That's why they do it because mm -hmm. they're talented. They, I'm they not. They are. I mean, you got this whole podcast thing going for you. Well, I'm talking about music wise. Oh. I mean, I can do. I've, I've been told that I'm pretty good at the spoons, the kazoo. Ooh, the spoons! <laughs> I want to see somebody play the spoons like legit. <laughs> you know, is that but, true, Karen? <laughs> the kazoo. I mean, that she's one. Like, fine. No My four-year-old could do that. Not that she's four anymore. She would kill me if I said that. But the spoons. Yeah, I just didn't get musical talent for some reason. I can write a mean check, but uh, <laughs> bro, your na your nickname is Kid Rob. You can throw down with the best of them. Uh -huh. Cause I'm a karaoke superstar, dude. You're lyrical. Karaoke is amazing, though. That's what you need. Mm -hmm. Some karaoke in between. I mean, we might have a little snippet time for that to happen but i mean it's gonna happen guys rain or shine rain or shine let's do it rain or shine it's happening uh did you have food food trucks um unfortunately one of our food trucks had a family medical emergency and that could not happens. come out um but there will be food trucks out there the food truck i can't think of the name they're always at real port but That's they'll fine. be there um i think we reached out to rustin cattle company to maybe to come out too so hopefully we get mm, some more that's some good food I didn't think about Good that. Food. I could have brought my crawfish rig out there. I didn't even think about that. It's never too late. I mean, it it's not this Sunday yet. <laughs> the trail is a bit away. Well, first of all, it is a little too late because we we got three days till yeah. To, and you'd have to come up with probably seven hundred pounds of crawfish. So. Oh yeah, my and you got to order that ahead of time and make your trip down there to pick it up. Yeah. Uh, but next time, otherwise sure. we could do that. We could. What? Next benefit, yep. you're on the hook. Okay. 
You know no what? No pun intended. I'm, yes. gonna you, I'm gonna hold you to that. I Not think that'd you be put a good deal. Crawfish mm-hmm. on a hook, but you know, no pun intended. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you don't catch them with a hook. That's you catch them in a, in a trap. In a net. Yeah. No, I don't. Like that's why I was. That's why I said no pun intended. Not that you do that, but. What date is this day? Can we introduce these your your co-pilots oh, please. here? Please, yes. <laughs> May the fourth. <laughs> Be with you. Be well, with the you. reason why is because you you've spoken so highly of them. I figured we'd give let them. No, Hi guys. are they refusing? Come here, on over, I'm, guys. I'm ta- Come tell Amanda happy birthday on the Seaman City Chatter podcast. Hang on, let me, let me get you on the camera here. All right, and yeah, go. No, get in here right now, right now. Hey. Happy birthday, Today. Amanda. Happy birthday. So we have Casey and Kristen. Hi. <laughs> They're amazing. They've Thanks. done. so so much. Thank you for all the support and uh, happy birthday, Amanda. She's like, I'm gonna cry. Are you gonna, gonna say something, Casey? Are you gonna say anything? No. I want to hear you your were voice. quiet the whole I night. I just cry. I can't. Okay. She told. She said things. She but said you, no Karen. for the, the silent auction Get being <laughs> present to win. She said rain or shine. She said lots of words. <laughs> Listen, fighting back the tears, talking about my best friend has been really hard. Oh, I bet. Watching her go. Do I have crazy hair? No, you don't. No, I would have told know. you. I would have told okay, you. Beautiful. Well, I, I beautiful. Because none of these suckers would have. No, I, I appreciate if, you're, if your name was Tiffany, we would totally let it fly. But no, oh you're good. Oh, my God. I'll show you that video. It's on freaking YouTube, too. Oh, no. Uh-huh. And we were laughing about it the whole time. It was oh, great. And you didn't yeah. tell her. That's so mean. I know. That's what I'm saying. I would never do that to you. So, Tammy, oh. what, have we missed? Is there anything we haven't covered? This is your show, your time. Ooh. What do we need to... Ladies, I'm gonna I'm gonna tag in my friends. Nothing, rain or shine, it's Call happening. A Phone a friend. Um, I'm phoning a friend. Um, we're gonna have a picture booth, courtesy of your wife. Ooh. She's doing like an amazing photo booth thing going awesome. on. She's very talented. Um, rain or shine, so many amazing Ellis County bands, so many auctions. So there's no cover. How much is a cup? Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. You get to keep the cup. You get three pours. Correct. And you get entered for and, a door prize. Oh, I forgot. And you get entered in for the door prize. Which is probably valued more than thirty dollars. So either way, you're gonna come You've out a winner. You've got a live auction, a silent auction, and a fifty fifty. Yeah. Yes. And then we have the sports mem- mem- memorabilia guy coming Perfect. out. Yep. Did I get that? He's not part of that. the. He's not part of any of the other things we said. No, correct. But he okay. is donating his items and fifty okay. percent of all of his proceeds. Oh, sweet. Go straight to Amanda. Okay. Um, it is an auction type thing, but if you see something that's like five hundred dollars, and you're like, you know what, I just want that. You can buy it. Write now. him a check for five hundred dollars. It's yours. Yeah, it's so, like, so, like a buy it now. Yeah, yeah. a buy, yeah, it, buy now it now option. So you don't nice. have to wait if you're not patient like Maybe myself. From jewelry, so like jewelry purses, 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 purses um, Buff City soaps, baskets. Cool, cool, cool. Um, oh, yeah, there's, there's oh there's that's there's pretty cool. Oh, I need a new one of those. So Yes, you put your own logo. It's donated. Oh, it's going to have your own logo Rob, on it. Rob, we need that. What is that? Chimnia with our logo in it. Yeah. So Custom I, know how, I know how this will work. How this will work is you're going to take a puppy that's not Francis uh, Houseman, and you're going to sell that puppy while you're there and use the proceeds. <laughs> Oh, yes. Rap Works. The crickets. <laughs> um, Michael Cross and Shannon Cross, um, who own Rap Works, have donated a free wrap for your vehicle. And let me tell you, these guys are the best in the business. Wait hey, they're from Grand Prairie, too. Rap Works. Shout Rap Works, yes. from Grand Prairie. I thought that was Adam Ross's company. No, it's Adam and Michael. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, all, okay. Yeah, they all okay. work together. Yeah. I graduated with Michael, so. Oh, which, which Grand Prairie High School? Or North. You? Uh-uh. No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. South we don't do that. Grand Prairie, do Prairie that. North. Grand Prairie High School, the original, <laughs> my the ex, OG. My don't ex, go there. My ex-wife graduated there. I said, where are you from, Grand Prairie North? <laughs> no, I will die on that cross. It's Grand Prairie, the original. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Love awesome. It. So, mm. so much guys. stuff. Come see it. There's, There's too much to list. Okay. For men, women, and kids. Like, yes. Okay. So awesome. Listen, I, I don't have to really... Um, glamorize this. Anybody that knows anything, this weekend, mm-hmm. this will be the place to be, period. Mm-hmm. Yes, it will be. I mean, everybody knows that. Kid friendly, everybody that knows dog Amanda, friendly. Which is, which is, everybody knows that this is the place to be. I'm actually nervous because I know it's going to be so crowded. And I've got to perform, help do my job, and there's going to be a lot of people. Open it with prayer. Yes. That's can you help him type that up? No, yeah. I, I actually, I'm, I'm an ordained minister already. Yeah, he can do Seriously. it. Seriously. Yep. Okay. He's going to yeah. do a phenomenal job. So I'm probably job. the most qualified. Yeah. I figure. 
You're, you're the second most qualified at the table, but yeah. That's right. Yeah. On a post. I was going to say, he's got receipts. <laughs> How many weddings have you done? Probably 15. Receipts. I've probably done about 16. <laughs> oh, here we go. Weddings are easy. The funerals are hard. I've never oh, done one. Yeah. Oh, I've done about well, I did my funerals. dad's. That, yeah, no. Oh, more, we- more funerals than weddings? Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, you're right. I have done two funerals. Funerals are tough. Yeah. I want you to do mine. You got it, man. Seriously. I'll start working on it now. Yeah. Your wedding? No. Yeah, that's like, the one. I don't like that vibe. Let's yeah, change let's that. I don't like that what vibe. What are you doing? I've already Bad got a Spotify vibe. list going, so just everybody know that Spotify, it, there's, a, there's a playlist for you. All right. Perfect. Midlothian, we're going to wrap this up, but Tammy, we want to thank you for coming on the show. I want you to thank you so much for uh, everything you've done on behalf of our city uh, and Mayor Kaufman sitting here right now, thank you for what you've done for your your buddy who mm-hmm. deserves every single bit of it and more. Um, I hope that this just sets an Ellis County record for money raised for a benefit because I believe that it could go to no better person at this point in time. I want to thank the community of Midlothian for... Uh, listening and all of Ellis County who is going to come out there uh, this Sunday come say hi um, and just have a great time if you can't make it you can just swing by I'm sure they'll take a check and make sure she gets it somehow so and then as Justin said I mean we've got the GoFundMe page on the Manda's movement uh, Facebook page you can find it and I'll post that I'll post that in the comments and we'll post it in the comments um other than that we'll see you saturday Saturday. at the conference Mm -hmm. center Mm -hmm. come say hi to the candidates and then we'll see you sunday at railport thanks guys for amanda's movement and then have a great time bring your checkbooks bring your checkbooks your cash our vendo we take it all just bring your money hey Mm -hmm. all jokes aside can i say real quick yep that um i really do believe in the power of prayer like I, I'm a minister, obviously, and, and so are you. Yep. Uh, and so I want to challenge the community to pray for her and not just one of those, hey, I'm praying for you, sister, but not really. Mm-hmm. Like, legitimately. Well, let's, let's pray for let's her. Let's do it right now. Yeah. Yep, let's do it now before we end this. On it. So, Lord, we come before right. you this afternoon, Lord, and we just thank you for Amanda. Lord, we pray that uh, you just bring healing to her body. Lord, I pray that you bring healing to her psyche, her mentality, her approach. God, that you would just continue to work in her. Or we just pray positivity. God, uh, cancer does not come from you. And since it's not from you, it's not for her. So we just plead the blood of Jesus over her right now. Lord, we just lift her up to you. We join in unity. Your word says, where two or more are gathered, that you are there in the midst of them. And we are two or more, and we are gathered. And so you are here, and you will touch her even now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.